Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I'd like to introduce you to a very interesting and strange looking sewing machine foot. It sort of is a foot that duplicates a tire on your car, and yet it still is a ball. It has the feed dogs up, but you can move in any direction. It's quite unique. This foot was actually designed for the sewing industry, and it was designed to sew on one type of fabric and to make one different item. But it became very apparent that this was a great foot to use, so it was brought into our world where we're able to get them for our domestic sewing machines. So just to give you another little clue on this foot, it's not flat. Most feet on a sewing machine have some type of a flat surface and that sort of glides over top of the fabric. This foot is not flat. So if you're not sure what foot I'm talking about, let's take a close look at this very unique looking foot. A regular sewing machine runs flat. So it has that flat bottom. Even though you might have different wedges cut out, it is flat. Even a walking foot, even though it has feet, the bottom is normally flat. Quilting feet that have this little bowl shape on it, they still have a flat surface. The foot I'm talking about is not flat at all. It looks like a tire on your car, but we have all of these wonderful treads that makes this hold on to our fabric. So very much like a tire, we have all of this tread. It does have a good grip. It can turn corners, but the corners are not sharp. A ball, on the other hand, can turn tight little corners, very large corners, and can go in any direction. So this foot looks like they've combined the two. We have the tread like the tire, but it has a big curve, which means we're going to be able to turn really tight corners. As we use this foot, it's going to be able to turn very tight corners and still grip the fabric. Here's what the foot would look like if you were sitting directly in front of the machine. You can see where that needle will go right along that edge. And you can see how it has the control. So we have this little tire tread that's going to lay on the fabric, but we have that round shape that is going to give us a lot of control. The tread does roll against the feed dog, so we do need the feed dogs up. But this means we can do all sorts of things with this foot. It can do all sorts of very quick shapes. So we're going to be able to follow some curve shapes or make our own curve shapes. And it's as easy as one finger control. This foot is also good for garment construction. That foot will go right along that edge of the zipper for zipper application. We can get really close along cording edges. We can sew this very, very fat cording and very skinny cording. Because of the freedom this foot gives us, this is great for free motion quilting, where we leave the feed dogs up. We can do shadow quilting or go around different items. This foot was originally designed for leather gloves. When sewing leather gloves, it was very difficult for the machines to turn those tight little finger corners and that's what this foot was originally designed for. 
strictly for sewing that round point on the fingers of leather gloves. The Bernina foot, it's considered number 55, but for your machine, you will have to check and see what it is. But it is called a leather rolling foot. So that unique shape of that leather roller foot really can be used in a lot of different applications, quilting and garment sewing. It has combined a tire that we've had on the car and a ball. And that's what makes this foot so versatile. It really is quite a unique looking foot. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.